this is really key, right, in terms of the preventative aspect of, of infecting other people. That's right, Heidi. We had expected that uh, the messenger RNA or mRNA, as we're calling them, vaccines, would do well at protecting people from becoming very ill. Uh, but we're also finding out now an extra benefit, if you will, an unexpected benefit uh, in this first wave of COVID vaccines is that they're stopping people also from transmitting the disease. So not only are they not becoming ill themselves, they're not even transmitting it to others. And we're seeing that in places like Israel, which is, you know, a very uh, well-vaccinated place, if you will, uh, that got the mRNA vaccine, that that has really, um, not only have we seen caseloads come down, but we've seen deaths come down and hospitalizations with this so-called um, herd immunity there. But in other countries that got some of the more traditional vaccines, not those mRNA ones, uh, we haven't seen that as much. So uh, this will be something going forward that's going to become very important as countries really try to not only get people vaccinated, but to really bring down the spread of those infections so they can return to some sort of normalcy. There's also the issue of the variants, and we don't really know yet uh, how these vaccines are going to protect against variants. We think that they protect somewhat against variants, particularly the mRNA ones, but we really won't know until more studies have done have been done. And also we have the issue with the newer variants, like the, the one that originated in India, uh, where there has been really little um, that has, you know, really been known about how vaccines work against them. India has been a country that has not been uh, well vaccinated, and right. that has been part of the issue there. So which countries are seeing cases rise despite being vaccinated and which shots are they using? Yeah, so we've seen the Seychelles where they are perhaps the most vaccinated nation in the world. Uh, their numbers uh, are not as good as you would expect for being, for having reached that so-called herd immunity. And part of that is they are getting uh, the vaccine from Chinese developers, Sinopharm and Sinovac, that use what we call that more traditional form of the vaccine, that inactivated form of the virus. And these uh, really uh, have shown efficacy rates somewhat lower than we've seen in the mRNA vaccines, 50 to 80 percent, as compared with about 90 percent for mRNA. But also this other factor that I was just talking about, that they they're really don't seem to be preventing onward transmission as much uh, as those mRNA vaccines.